Welcome. I'm so glad you're here for this great event when we welcome the ninth president of Carnegie Mellon University. His uh, first chance really to meet the Carnegie Mellon community and for you to meet him. Carnegie Mellon is a global university and I'm very pleased that this event's being webcast around the world to all the places in which Carnegie Mellon uh, is located. Welcome to all of you. Thank you for being with us today. And on behalf of Maureen and myself and the entire Carnegie Mellon community, welcome Subra. We're delighted to have you here. Welcome Mary and welcome to your children. Now, the sitting president uh, ought to give advice to the incoming president. So my advice is never, ever joke about the Steelers. <laughs> we are a very fortunate university. Uh, we are fortunate to have a president that has delivered over the last 16 years to take Carnegie Mellon to the, the place it is today, the place that we enjoy today, uh, is revered around the world. And we're fortunate to have a president-elect who is coming in with an incredible reputation and a serious mindset about what he can do next over the next 10 years. It is now uh, my great honor to introduce to the podium our president-elect, Dr. Subra Suresh. As I reflected on uh, coming here today, uh, I couldn't help notice some connections between my own journey and some of the histories, uh, history in Carnegie Mellon. Andrew Carnegie came to this country at a very young age as a child. And of course he became a leading industrialist, a philanthropist, whose generosity led to the creation of this great university. And I have He's, he symbolizes the American dream in many ways. And in a, on a much smaller scale, I can say that I've experienced the same uh, spirit of the American dream. Some people ask me, what, are the, what is the first thing you're going to do? And I have no ambiguity whatsoever as to the very first thing that I want to do. That is to go on a listening tour for a number of months looking forward to holding many open forums, listening to students, faculty, and staff to get very different perspectives that exist in a university like this. We all very firmly believe that Carnegie Mellon is a great institution, but we also firmly believe that Carnegie Mellon is an institution that has all the ingredients and the potential for even much, much greater greatness and I very much look forward to working with you uh, to achieve that. Thank you very much. Thank you. 